MTP, medical termination of pregnancy, or it is also known as induced abortion. Intentional or voluntary termination of pregnancy before its full term development is known as MTP. All over the world about 45 to 50 million MTPs are performed in an year, which is about one-fifth of the total number of con conceived pregnancies in a year. There is a big debate regarding this MTP due to emotional, religious, ethical and social issues. Whether to consider this MTP is legalized or illegalized. But the government of India has legalized the MTP in the year 1971. Important. Government of India legalized MTP in the year 1971 under certain conditions. When this MTP should be performed or what is the need for performance of MTP is in order to get rid of unwanted pregnancies may be due to unusual or unprotected intercourse or failure of contraceptive using during coitus or rape. MTPs are essential only when there is harmful if the pregnancy is continued for either to the mother or to the fetus or sometimes for both. Then only it is allowed to perform. MTPs are consider, considered relatively safe when they are performed during the first trimester that is up to 12 weeks of the pregnancy. Second trimester abortions are much riskier. Because of the misuse of amniocentesis, which is a process of a determination of a sex of an unborn child, most of the couples are going for MTP after knowing the results of amniocentesis. Amniocentesis it is a sex determination test of unborn child. If they came to know the child it is a female, they are going for this MTP. So uh, effective counseling should be given to the couples in order to avoid unprotective coitus and to avoid the risk factors that are involved in illegal abortions. MTP should be performed by a well-trained medical professional or a, a skillful nurse. But sometimes these MTPs are performed by an unqualified quacks which are not only unsafe but could be fatal too. STDs Sexually transmitted diseases or sexually transmitted infe infections also known as venereal diseases VD or reproductive tract infections RTI. These are the infections which are transmitted through sexual intercourse. The list of these disorders include gonorrhea, syphilis, genital herbs, chlamydiasis, etc. which are either caused by virus or by the bacterial. Among all these diseases, hepatitis B, HIV and genital herbs. These infections are not curable, whereas other dis diseases which are detected earlier can be treated properly and can be completely cured. The list of these disorders and their causative organisms. Chlamydiasis caused by Chlamydia trichomonalis, Gonorrhea caused by Neisseria gonorrhea, Trichomoniasis, Trichomonas vaginalis, Genital herbs, Herpless simplex virus, Syphilis, Trypanoma palladium, Chancroid, Haemophilus ducri, Genital warts, Human papilloma virus HPV, Hepatitis B, Hepatitis B virus, Hepatitis C, Hepatitis C virus, AIDS, HIV, Human immunodeficiency virus. Early symptoms of most of these infections include itching, fluid discharge, slight pain, swelling in the genital region. If these were remain untreated, it may lead to pelvic inflammatory disorder PID, abortion, infertility or even cancer to the reproductive tract, stillbirth or ectopic pregnancies. Stillbirth means giving birth to the dead young ones and ectopic pregnancy, implantation of the embryo other than the site of uterus is known as ectopic pregnancies. STDs remain asymptomatic in female and remain undetected for long which is a major threat to healthy society. So prevention, early detection and cure of the diseases are 
under prime consideration of reproductive health care programs. Even though all age group persons are vulnerable to these infections, persons in the age group of 15 to 24 years are more prone to these diseases. So always prevention is better than cure. So the preventive measures are avoiding sex with unknown partners or multiple partners and always using condoms during coitus and if there is any doubt better to consult a qualified doctor and get detected and complete treatment. Infertility The inability to produce children in spite of unprotected sex or, or sexual cohabitation for about 2 to 3 years is known as infertility. The reasons for infertility may be physical or due to diseases or drugs, immunological or congenital or even psychological. Usually, females are more abused or blamed for a couple being childless. But more often, the problem lies in the male partner. Methods of infertility control In vitro fertilization and embryo transfer technology GIFT Gamut Intrafallopian Transfer ZIFT Zygote Intrafallopian Transfer IUI Intrauterine Insemination AI Artificial Insemination ICSI Intracytoplasmic Sperm Injection all these methods were dealt under special technology known as assisted reproductive technologies or fertility treatment. IVF ET In vitro fertilization and embryo transfer technology which is popularly known as the test tube baby program. The couples who are facing the problem of infertility in them, the ova is collected from the wife and sperms are collected from the husband or either from the donor female or from the donor male and were induced to form zygote under stimulated conditions in a laboratory. All these, prog all these functions or the program is conducted by a very highly skilled medical professionals. The zygote or early embryo at the 8th blastomere stage will be transferred to the fallopian tube of the wife. If the wife is not able to carry the embryo then these embryos are transferred into the uterus of another female. The female who is donating her uterus for carrying this embryo or for the development of this embryo are known as surrogate mothers. GIFT Gamete Intrafallopian Transfer This technique is employed in case of females who cannot produce ovum. The ovum which is collected from the donor female will be transmitted to the fallopian tube of the female who cannot produce it. AI Artificial Insemination or IUI Intrauterine Insemination This is the technique which is employed in case of males who cannot inseminate. The semen which is collected either from the husband or from the donor male will be artificially introduced into the uterus of the female. This technique is most useful in case of males suffering from Ejuspermia, oligospermia or ethinospermia. Ejuspermia means complete absence of sperms in the semen. Oligospermia with low sperm count or ethinospermia, the semen with non-motile sperms. All the above mentioned techniques require extremely skilled professionals and expensive instruments. Above all, it has many ethical issues because it is concerned with the emotional, religious and social aspects of the society. But the ultimate aim of all these techniques is to have children. So one of the best methods is to adopt a child from an orphan home for the couples who are looking for parenthood.